In this session, I'm going to go over the basic components of the interface of Outlook 2016 so that we can get an understanding of the major components of it and get started the right way with Outlook. So let's open Outlook first. And in this case, notice I have set up two accounts here, one personal and one for business. So at this point, notice that on the left hand side, we have the favorite folders. We have the business account here with all the different folders. Then we have a personal account as well with all of the different folders. And this is the Gmail account. Favorite folders are specific folders from each account that we can mark as favorite to mark another folder as favorite. We can simply go to any of those folders here on any of those accounts and right click and choose show in favorites. And that's how you'll add here another folder to show up under favorites. It's to remove it from favorites, we just right click and choose remove from favorites. So that's the left hand side. On the very top here, notice you'll have the regular menus just like any other application. You have the file menu with all kinds of options here. Notice also the options option account settings, mailbox settings, rules and such. That's under the file menu. Then you have the home tab and this is most commonly used functions within this application. Basically it's giving you the general tools for the context of what you're doing. And this includes creating a new mail message, replying to messages, forwarding them and dealing with meetings and general things that you'd be doing. Then notice you have the send and receive tab the folders tab, viewing tab, and different viewing options as well that you can change and customize. Then you have the help option. And also notice that there is a tell me feature here. Tell me what you want to do. So let's say, let's say that you wanted to know about the address book and you're not sure where the address book is. You just type address here and then it's going to bring you that option or let's say you don't know where the forwarding option is. Now this it's giving us the respond option here and such. On the very top here, notice that you have what's called here the quick access toolbar. These are a set of tools or icons that you can choose to enable or disable for you to quickly access. Uh, notice also that the quick access toolbar, you can add uh, other icons to it. So sometimes there are specific commands that you're very commonly using in your application. And let's say that you want the delete key to always be up here or the hyperlink option or whatever it may be that um, you want in there. You can go to any of those icons, whatever that icon might be, that function that you want, and right click on it and choose to add it to the quick access toolbar. And now that delete option will always be in the top left corner. To remove it from there, you can right click and choose to remove it from the quick access toolbar and that will remove it from there. So these are some of the components on the top here. So you have the, the office ribbon and then in each section here of the tab, you also have these subsections. For example, the delete section here, the new creating new stuff, delete stuff, responding to emails, then quick steps of what you want to do with your email and then moving and various tags. So that's on the top. In the middle, this is the actual messages. So we are clicking on the actual folder here for the message. And these are the different messages that we have received so far. Now the message content will actually be displayed by default on the right hand side. So I click on this message and there is the content of the message here on the right hand side. With these messages, we can either reply from right here or reply to all and forward from here. So these are the controls. So basically, we start with the left hand side with our inbox, the message on the center column, and then replying and functions. So we read the message from over here, and then we can reply and reply to all or such from over here from the controls on the top. So that's the default view. If you wanted to change the view to something other than what you see here, you can do that by going on the view tab and then choose how you want your viewing. So we have here the reading pane 
and if you want to change it to a different viewing option so let's say I want the messages to be viewed in the bottom I can just choose under the reading pane the bottom option here and now notice I have the messages on the top and the preview of the messages will be in the bottom here so I'm going to change it to the default the view tab since we are here under the to do bar you can choose to show the calendar on the right hand side and most of the time that will be there automatically depending on your resolution and your screen and also you can choose to show the tasks and you can choose to show also the peep pane now on the very bottom here the bottom right you can zoom in and out for your messages so if you if the zooming for a specific message is not large enough you can adjust that as well by using the zoom controls in the bottom as well you have their normal view and also you can change this to a reading view on the bottom left here we have the number of um, items that we have in our folder and how many messages are unread here now a major component which I probably should have mentioned earlier in Outlook and the advantage of using Outlook is is that you can actually use Outlook not only for email which is this icon right here or this function right here but you can use Outlook also for the calendaring features and that's the beauty of it you can keep track of your own calendar and view other individuals calendars and also make meeting invitations and we'll try to cover those shortly as well you can also keep track of contacts and those contacts can be accessed then from multiple computers once you set up your account in multiple computers and also in your smartphone you can also keep track of tasks uh, notes as well from here so notice all of these options are here on the very bottom left of your window you can further customize this by going here under options and choose the type of navigation that you'd like so in my case I might want to make this much larger so that I can view and switch from calendar to other tasks this way again note that you can change this under these three dots under the navigation options and I'm choosing here compact navigation so from this application you can keep track of your email your calendar the contacts to-do lists and even notes all from one interface and we'll move on to the next session in covering more of the features of it we'll first stay within the email component of it and then move to the calendaring and other tasks so stay tuned for the next session